Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabree Church of Christ midweek lesson for April the 20th, 2022. Thank you for tuning in and today I want to talk to you about thoughtful living and ask you a question. Are you each and every day looking for God or the evidence of God every day? reveals how he holds the entire universe together. If you have your Bibles, turn to Psalms chapter 25 and follow with me as I read verses 8 through 15. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in justice and he teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way he should choose. His soul will abide in prosperity and his descendants will inherit the land. The secret of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will make them know his covenant. My eyes are continually toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Are you living thoughtfully or automatically? It's easy to get up each morning do our work, enjoy some relaxation or entertainment, and fall into bed each night without giving any thought to God's involvement. But consider the benefits of keeping our spiritual eyes and ears open throughout the day to see how God has blessed and guided and protected and warned us. We need to keep our eyes and ears open throughout the day to see how God has blessed and has guided, protected, and warned us. Being aware of the Lord's presence reminds me, reminds us, he is always in control and working to accomplish his good purpose. When we look for God's footprints in our days, we discover the scope of his involvement in our life. Maybe he strengthened you for a task or opened a door of opportunity. Perhaps he guided your decision or helped you respond in a compassionate way to a difficult person. Furthermore, if our ears are attuned to the Lord's warnings and instructions, we're less likely to repeat our mistakes. Let me repeat that. If our ears are attuned to, Lord, to the Lord's warnings and instructions, we're less likely to repeat our mistakes. Each night before you go to sleep, take some time to reflect on the day's activities. Know that the Lord is constantly with you. He's guarding you and offering guidance. He wants you to understand life from his perspective as you rely on his wisdom and power to face any challenge. Something I think that we need to think about each and every day, and we need to keep our eyes and our ears open and look for the evidence of God. He is constantly with us. He is constantly there guiding, protecting, and warning us. But we have to be attuned to him and to give our attention and can see God around us all throughout the day. Just something to think about for the rest of the week. We greatly appreciate your tuning in and listening to our messages, and we hope and pray that you're sharing them with your loved ones and friends and helping us spread the gospel. If you can, we would love to have you come visit with us at the Seabury Church of Christ. Our worship sir, our Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m. each Sunday morning. Our worship service is at 10.30 a.m. each Sunday morning. 
please come if you can. We would love to have you. You would be our honored guest. And as always, if the Seabury Church can be of any assistance to you, if we possibly can, we would like to do that. You can reach us at 270-823-2335. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.